Yeah, so it's been about a week now. Uh, they've announced that Hard to Kill is going to be returning to Las Vegas, and they announced this during Emergence. I know I'm talking about this a little late. I'm catching up on some of the Impact news uh, to provide content here for the channel, but they announced at Emergence that uh, Impact was coming back to Vegas. It was going to be at the Palms. It's going to be on the Strip. And, you know, um, if, as if I haven't said it a hundred times already, Las Vegas is my new home. I'm still learning the area. I'm still definitely learning the city, the outskirts, and all that. Um, I'm not familiar with the hotel. I'm not familiar with Sam's Town Casino for that instance. But um, I've seen some casinos that are similar to Sam's Town. And, you know, I think the benefit now that Hardicue will be on the strip. It's more of a tourist location. There's a lot more people there. I don't know how much it really changes things, though, because, again, I don't know where Samstown is, but there was a um, hotel and casino that my ex stayed at uh, about a few days ago because she was coming to see my boys. And real, real nice hotel had everything that you could want on the strip as far as a hotel goes. Now, did it have nightlife surrounding it? No, not so much. Was it in the middle of nowhere? No, but um, it's, it's a very easily easy accessible, easily accessible hotel. So um, I say that because with Samstown, I know it wasn't located on the strip, but I don't think it was um, in, in such a desolate location that it was really hurting impact. I, I don't know how much of a difference the venues make as far as attendance goes, but as far as how we should look on TV um, and being in a more, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, it's in a more populated area. Absolutely. Um, but it should look better on TV, on the pay-per-view. And um, it's, it's pretty exciting times. A lot of the fans seem pretty excited about it. And if you're able to make it out here for hard to kill, it's a cheap airline ticket. Uh, you know, round trip is a different story, but uh, the Vegas part of your flight is 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 pretty inexpensive. So um, will I be going to Hard to Kill? That's what some people have been asking because I've been saying in the past that I was not going to attend any kind of Impact event as long as We Own the Night was still a thing. And I know that's really, really petty. Um, but I'm, I've mentioned a few times, like I'm someone who does not respond well to Groundhog's Day. Uh, so when I hear things like the same songs over and over and over, and, and you know, if you haven't been to an impact taping it, uh, you know, they play the fucking song between every single match, every time there's dead space. So I was unwilling to go to any kind of television until the theme song changes. Um, but I would imagine with this being a pay-per-view shouldn't be that big of an issue. So I'm, I'm willing to, uh, to give it a shot and kind of um, see what hard to kill has to offer here in this location. And, um, I plan on being there. I think I'm going to bring a couple of my kids with me. And, um, I think, I think I'm definitely going to be checking out hard to kill this year. So maybe I'll run into some of you guys. I haven't run into some of you guys in a while. Cause I haven't been to anything since like bound for glory, 2018 or something. Uh, so, you know, hopefully I'll meet you guys, but if, uh, you're able to make it out for hard to kill again, pretty easily accessible, um, you know, area, uh, very, the tickets are not bad at all. So, you know, why not come on out, uh, hard to kill Las Vegas, really looking forward to it. really, excuse me. Woo. Really looking forward to it this year.